is actually this first names first value second value field should be only editable for ITIL ITIL admin role users. This first name, first value, second value fields are there, right? These fields are editable only the person who has ITIL underscore admin role. For rest of the people who doesn't have ITIL underscore admin role, these should be read only. The person who has ITIL underscore admin role, for them, this should be editable. For rest of the people, it should be read only. So now you guys tell me which type of client script do we have to write here? We have to take the role first and. So here, right on the form load, on the form load, every time when you open the form, every time when you open the form, the form will be loaded, right? So on load client script will run. In the on load client script, I can check if the person has this particular role or not. If the person has this particular role, I will use g underscore form dot set read only false. Okay. If the form does, if, if the if the logged in user doesn't have that particular role, what we will do? We will make this read only. Uh, let me just create one client script here and explain that. Okay, make on load. In the on load, I am actually checking if the current logged in user has, if the current logged in user has ITIL admin or not. So how do we check if the person has ITIL admin, admin, ITIL admin role or not? How do we check that? Yes. So if, if G underscore user dot has role exactly ITIL underscore admin the current logged in user has itil admin role then what we will do g underscore form dot set read only which field first value second value fields right so we'll take a look at the first value field name u underscore first value u underscore second value u underscore first underscore value comma Read only false. For them, it should be editable, right? That is why I'm actually keeping false. Second value. Else. That means, else means if the current logged in user doesn't have that role. Then what we will do? We will make the fields read only true. Okay, so current logged in user has ITIL admin role or not, first we will check. Just clicking on the profile, clicking on default view. Scroll little down here. ITIL underscore admin. No. Current logged in user doesn't have ITIL admin role. So I am going to refresh the demo incident form now. I am going to open the demo incident form now.
see these fields are editable or not 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 editable right because current logged in user doesn't have itil admin role that is why it is read only if he has itil admin role it will be editable understand See, ITIL admin role is different. Admin role is different. Yeah. This requirement is clear, right? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Let me give you few more examples. Let me give you a few more examples. Um, Uday, sir. Yeah. Uh, this is Raghu, sir. So, if there is any item like you want clicking on is hardware or software. So if he clicks on software, there should be software related items. And uh, if he clicks on hardware, there should be hardware related. Items. Can you show one example to show or hide such type, such type of fields? Mm, when you, when you select, I didn't get you what you are trying to ask. Uh, like, like for example, so you have category hmm. mega. So hmm. in mega there are some sub, you know, sub fields. For example, if I click on software, related software uh, items should be uh, populated on the form. If he selects a software, there should be some software related uh, items should be shown. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah. yeah. Can you give such example? Yes. So we have to go one by one, right? Okay. 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 So we have to go one by one. Okay. So I have to explain about download client script first. Then I will go for unchanged client script. Whatever that you are asking, right? That comes under unchanged client script. Okay. Now, okay. Sir, okay. Here you are actually changing the value here, right? Right. So uh, as soon as you change the value, the unchanged client script will run. So right. now first, first we are discussing unload client script. So in the unload client script, as soon as you open the form, current logged in user for current logged in user details and current logged in user name and details should be populated in the color and color details field. That that, that requirement we have done. Yes, just have seen. Yeah. Then we have actually created another client script, which will actually make these fields read only when current logged in user doesn't have ITIL admin role. Right. If he has ITIL admin role, these fields will be irritable. Right. That is actually the second use case. Yep. Okay. And also, and also on the form load, we can do many things. We can do many things. There are some advanced use cases as well. Advanced use cases we'll be discussing in coming sessions. Okay. Because I have covered only Glide user and Glide form only, right? If I cover another APIs as well, there are a few other APIs. If I cover those APIs, they can then I can actually discuss advanced use cases. So for now, onload client script, these two use cases remember using Glide user and Glide form. If you take a look at the scripts I did not use, apart from Glide user and Glide form, I used only Glide user and Glide form APIs in the script. So if I cover another APIs, then I, I can give you even more advanced 